Hello everyone. Hope you are doing well and have gone through with my previous videos. In my last video, I have discussed with you calculation of cash price by using working backward method. In this video, I am going to discuss with you calculation of cash price by using annuity value method. Now, directly, I, I will move to the problem. The problem which I have selected is, I will just read that problem. X, Y, Z and company limited purchased a machine on 1-1-2015 on higher purchase system and agreed to pay in 5 equal installments of rupees 25,000 each. The applicable rate of interest is at 6% per annum present value. The annuity table shows that of rupees 1 for 5 years at 6% as 4.21236. With this information, they have asked to calculate cash price as well as interest. Now, a brief summary of this problem. XYZ Company Limited purchased a machine. That machine is purchased on 1-1-2015 and it is agreed to pay 25,000 each and 5 installments are there. And the vendor charged interest at 6% per annum. And uh, with reference to annuity table, that annuity table shows that rupee 1 for 5 years and at the rate of 6%, it will be 4.21236. Like our logarithm tables, anti-logarithm tables, annuity tables are there. These tables shows the value of rupee at different rate of interest at different years. So that table is not necessary because in the problem only they will give the value of rupee 1 for the year and the rate of interest also. So in this problem, see over here, installments are given, installments are 25,000, 5 installments are there, each installment is of 25,000, cash price is missing over here. A rate of interest is also given. Rate of interest is here. It is 6%. Interest is 6%. So in this problem, installment is given. Rate of interest is given. But what is missing over here? Cash price is missing over here. Now for the calculation of cash price, as already I have discussed with you, working backward method is there and annuity value method is there. When annuity value method is used, when in the problem, two conditions are satisfied. Which are those conditions? Condition number one, if in the problem, the value of one rupee, that is the annuity value of one rupee is given. And second condition, when installments are equal one, then only we can use annuity value method. So see in the problem, both conditions are satisfied. Annuity value is given, annuity value of one rupee, for 5 years at 6%, 4.21236 is given. And also, installment amount is equal one. So, we can solve this problem by using annuity value method. Now, for the calculation purpose, first we have to calculate cash price. Now, the calculation of cash price is very easy one. As I uh, write down here, cash price is equal to installment into annuity value. So, per installment is of 25,000. So, 25,000 into annuity value. So, what is the annuity value here? 4.21236. So, our cash price here, 25,000 into 4.21236 is 1,5309. So, this is what our cash price. Now cash price information is available. Now installment is there, cash price is there and rate of interest is there. So here now we have to calculate 
interest now for the calculation of interest purpose already in case number one this same format is used so that format we have to use over here the first column is year second column is installment third column is interest fourth column is principal and the last column is for outstanding cash price so uh, we have to write over here years here installment 25000 five installments are there and how this is calculated column number 3 plus 4 interest plus principal now interest how interest is calculated 6% rate of interest is given and we have to calculate interest on outstanding cash price okay now principal how this principal amount is calculated this is column number 4 column number 2 minus column number 3 installment minus interest it is principal and here we have to write over outstanding cash price now i will start the solution now the first installment is due on 31 12 2015 okay 31 12 2015 now the installments are of 25000 okay i will first write over here all the dates 31 12 2016 31 12 2017 31 12 2018 and last installment is on 31 12 2019 and installments are equal installments are there of rupees 25000 so i will write over here 25000 25000 25000 and 25000 now calculation of interest now this is very simple one now this part because in case number one i have discussed all those things here okay now how interest is calculated interest is calculated on outstanding cash price so there is no down payment so therefore entire cash price is due here in the first year so one lakh five thousand three hundred nine six percent over it so six percent means it becomes use calculators six thousand three hundred ninety okay now next column principal column how this principal is calculated column number two minus column number three installment minus interest twenty five thousand minus six thousand three hundred nineteen so it is eighteen thousand six hundred eighty one now outstanding cash price so how it is calculated one lakh three one lakh five thousand three hundred nine minus this year principal contribution so eighteen thousand six hundred eighty one so it is eighty six thousand six hundred twenty eight now thirty one twelve two thousand sixteen now we have to calculate interest on this outstanding cash price eighty six thousand six hundred twenty eight and six percent over eight so it is interest is five thousand one hundred ninety eight okay now principal amount installment minus interest twenty five thousand minus five thousand one hundred ninety eight nineteen thousand eight hundred two now outstanding cash price so 86628 minus this year principal contribution 19802 so it is 66826 next 3112 2017 so interest is calculated over this outstanding cash price 66,826, 6% 6 over it. So, it is 4,010. Now, 25,000 minus 4,010, 20,990. Now, how outstanding cash price is calculated? 66,826 minus 20,990. So it is forty five thousand eight hundred thirty 
six. Now next thirty one twelve two thousand eighteen. So forty five thousand eight hundred thirty six six percent over it. So it is twenty seven thousand fifty. So twenty five thousand minus sorry two thousand seven hundred fifty. It is twenty two thousand two hundred fifty. Now outstanding cash price forty five thousand eight hundred thirty six minus last year principal contribution twenty two thousand two hundred fifty so twenty three thousand five hundred eighty six. Now in the last year the calculation is different one. We have to take this outstanding cash price over directly here. Calculation is not necessary. Twenty three thousand five hundred eighty six and twenty five thousand minus twenty three thousand five hundred eighty six. So it is thousand four hundred fourteen. So this is balancing figure. So please remember in the last year, don't calculate interest on outstanding cash price. It is the balancing value or balancing figure. This is the difference between installment and principal. Interest is equal to column number two minus column number four. Installment minus principal. So that is why remember one more time. In the last year, don't calculate interest. It is the balancing value. Now in the last year, here twenty-three thousand five hundred eighty-six was outstanding cash price, and this year contribution is. Twenty three thousand five hundred eighty six. So here, nil. Okay. Now we have to make the total one lakh twenty five thousand. So this interest totals. It is nineteen thousand six hundred ninety one, and the principal total one lakh five thousand three hundred and nine. Okay. Now here we can cross verify. Installment one lakh twenty five thousand. Column number three plus four. Interest plus principal. Nineteen thousand six hundred ninety-one plus one lakh five thousand three not nine becomes one lakh twenty-five thousand. So this is the cal solution for the problem. Problems are very simple one. If you have any doubts, please free to ask. Thank you.